hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much my returning subscribers god bless you all if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe and be part of the diwang family yeah this is our nigerian news from the northern part of nigeria in bauchi state borno lagos and also the kidnapping in kaduna state let's watch together guys don't miss this one of your safety during and beyond the festive season. Responding to a series of robbery threats in some areas in the state, the Commissioner of Police, Hakim Odumosu, says security has been enhanced across the state for a crime-free celebration. The information of planned attacks on residents in the Korudu area of Lagos caught the attention of the police. An anonymous robbery notice was sent last week to residents of Erwin Street in Okeotono area of Ikorodu. I heard that uh, uh, some guys wrote letter that they are coming, but I don't know how true true is it because I didn't see the letter. When I saw a siren coming out, just I'm hearing it, I just coming out. I some of my neighbor that was going on, they said they don't know, then I sat down. Let me see what is going up until I was something here, something like that from you. In fact, I'm very, very grateful. This is a very powerful security. Uh, Almighty Allah with God helping you. So we shall not see anything like that is going to be happen to us in this area. This long convoy patrolling streets in Ikorodu is that of officers and men of the Rapid Response Squad. This latest operation is to reassure residents of adequate security. If you must know, Ikorodu now is a bit calm because last week, we had a community policing in action where the traditional rulers of Kurudu Axis. So we had a pali here and a lot of interact interactive sections that I had, a lot of information, a lot of the responsibilities for them to the police, our responsibility to them, and all the resolutions that we arrived at, we have started implementation. And that's why for the past one week now, we can hardly have anything of that in Kurudu. And it's been extended to all parts of States. If this present deployment of security across the state is sustained, Negotians may have nothing to panic about during and beyond the festive season. Sustained with security, insurgents have reportedly attacked communities in the southern part of Borno State. Some residents told channels televisions that they weren't into the area in at least 10 vans. According to the sources, the terrorists were first seen around Mandara Dairo at about 1 p.m. today. They proceeded on challenge through other villages, shooting sporadically, looting food items and setting houses ablaze. The terrified villagers are set to be hiding in nearby mountains, except for the old and the sick who are feared to be stuck in the mayhem. The residents say the stress calls to the military has not yielded any results, and today's attack is a third in three days with no word from the military. Meanwhile, the security situation in Kaduna and some other parts of the country remains a source of concern as gunmen suspected to be kidnappers have abducted the Kaduna State Chairman of the Pentecost Fellowship of Nigeria, Emmanuel Bako, his wife and one other person. The incident was said to have occurred yesterday in Jamaa local government area. According to the Kaduna State Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Arwan, the unidentified gunmen attacked the Albarka praying camp on the Afana Fadan Kagoma Koi Road, firing sporadically before abducting the three persons. This as the troops arrived at the location and pursued the kidnappers who were able to escape with the victims. Also, gunmen have killed two senior police officers and injured one constable in a Christmas Day attack in Garaki local government area of Jigawa State in an attempt to abduct residents. The incident comes less than a week after another police officer was shot. As I said, I regret we are not able to give you the finishing and roping assistant that you need for your secretariat. But I assure you... Hopefully, these gestures will improve the religious harmony. 
And in the spirit of the season, the Army and Air Force chiefs have been visiting troops in the front line of the fight against insurgency in a bit to boost their morale. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tsuko Buratai, has met with officers deployed to 27th Special Task Force Brigade in Buniyadi, Yobe State, with a message of hope, reassuring them of necessary support to successfully conduct their operations. The same message was conveyed to their air counterparts in Boronu State, where Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar declared that the fight will take a new turn with the acquisition of additional power. <laughs> Many look forward to the Yulotide as a season for renewed hope and to bring good cheer. And for troops of the Nigerian army deployed to Yobe State, that's exactly what they need, even if just to temporarily take their mind off the front line. Fighting the Boko Haram insurgency means they can't be with their families at this time. Still, it's a season to celebrate, and the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Brutai, is showing some love to the troops of the 27th Special Task Force Brigade in Buniyadi, hosting them to a Christmas luncheon. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, rather than sit to eat together, food packs are shared. There's also a message of hope from the Army Chief, reassuring them of necessary support to successfully conduct their operations. Let me reassure you of our commitment to the welfare of all officers and men of the Nigerian Army. We will continue to reevaluate the welfare packages of the Nigerian Army to ensure they meet the best standards and practices internationally. It's been a decade since troops were deployed to the Northeast region to liberate communities from the stronghold of terrorists. Yobe State is one of those that has suffered the effects of the violence and the state government applauds the army for its work. I ask you all to not lend in your efforts until Yobe State and the entire North is secured. Let me restate the commitment of this administration to support troops of Operation Lapia Dole with the logistics within the available resources of the state to tackle the Boko Haram insurgency. It seems the same kind of love is being spread by the chief of air staff, who is also visiting his officers and men in the northeast region. The air chief is marking this year's Christmas with men of the air task force, the air component of Operation Lafayette Dole in Bornu State, where he declared that the newly acquired platforms and equipment will change air force operations in the coming year. For us in the air force, every time we have an additional air asset, it's something we celebrate, of, uh, you know, and. Uh, we use air assets to fight. So we are very excited that the federal government has uh, 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 released quite a number of these platforms into the service inducted. And we are hoping that uh, we should be able to address uh, these problems. Meanwhile, the Bonu Deputy Governor, Omar Kadafo, assures the Air Force of the state government support. As far as we are concerned, we reiterate our commitment as a government. And I know we are trying hard to see that we burn not said and the whole lot is, is secured, inshallah. The war against terror is not over, and because the army and the Nigerian Air Force complement each other's efforts to combat terrorism, such visits from their chiefs will be cherished by the troops as a morale booster to get them going again once they get back to the front line.